Walter Overcoach here, you're welcome indeed to another edition of the programme. Now don't forget later on we'll be crossing over to Manchester to join Martin Logan who's out and about once again with the Irish community right across the UK. Some great stories lined up so watch out for that. But here this week we are coming to you from the East Mayo town of Swinford where the launch is taking place for this year's annual Seamstress Troyja Festival which takes place during the August bank holiday weekend. And later on in the programme we'll be going over to Clare Morris for the Mayo Day Park Run, which attracted a lot of runners, including world champion Sonia O'Sullivan. As chairman of Shim Sashraja 2018, I'd like to welcome you all here tonight to the launch of this auspicious festival, Shim Sashraja 2018. Joe, you're chairman of the festival. It's been going quite a long time now. 1984, Henry, uh, a long time, 34 years there, but still as good as ever. Yeah, and tonight a big launch now for this year's festival. Yes, it seems a short period since this time last year, but we're ready to go again. Yeah. Now, um, it's, um, how, how important is this festival for the town of Swinford? Well, not alone, Henry, is it important just for the town itself in that it brings thousands of people to the town, that's, 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 that's for saying, uh, but it appeals not alone to the locals, but it has a huge attraction for our diaspora. People every year book their holidays to come to Swinford for Shimsa Shroja. They meet each other, it's the only time of the year they, they meet. Uh, they, their neighbours in Swinford and, and around only meet when they come to town. Shimsa provides the excuse to meet, all, to meet each other. And of course you gear your programme of events towards the diaspora as well. Very much so. So there's, there's, there's heritage, there's drama, there's, there's cultural, uh, music, uh, workshops, you, you name it, we have it. It appeals to all groups from the youngest person to the oldest person. And your role as chairman, what does that entail? Well my role can be just keeping an eye on things. The real people behind this are our CEO, Reed O'Connell, and our events organiser and Man Friday, Brendan Cassidy. They're, they're the people, I'm, I'm just here talking. Yeah, now, um, and of course, next year is a very special year for Swinford as well, and the festival. We cel will celebrate the 35th next year. It's a milestone, it's tremendous, and a credit to everybody who has been involved in this, not alone to the committee, but to the people who have sponsored this over the years. We can never forget them. We have to remember the local people like the local Gardaí, all, all the, the, the schools, uh, all, all, everybody in the town who has done their little bit in promoting and helping Swinford. Yeah. And, and of course the, uh, the whole uh, thing of Swinford, it, next year apart from that then you're celebrating the town of Swinford's 200th anniversary? It's coming up the 250th anniversary, yes, that's big, big celebrations planned for next year there. This, this in next week where, where there's a huge uh, commemoration of the Brabazons of Swinford. Uh, it's all good in Swinford. Swinford is, is a fabulous town. It's the place to be. We're, we're working on it. It brings people to the town. Everybody, if, if the town is busy, everybody is happy. And of course, you've been in business. You know all about being in business in a town like Swinford. I've been in business myself <laughs> for hundreds of years. And I, and, and feel, I feel like it. Yeah. And you're, you're very much part of the festival from your own business perspective. Definitely. My, my business uh, does well out of the festival. I have no, fellow says, no qualms just to say that. Every business does well out of it because when you put money in circulation, the town does well, the people, and the people do well, and Swinford survives. So a busy couple of days for you uh, coming up uh, during the festival. E extremely busy, but it's a matter of putting your head down and get, get stuck into it, and we know it's going to be as good as ever. We well, wish you well with it. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I've been involved in Colt this year for the last 18 years. Um, in that time we've had uh, four Mayo flacules and one Connacht flacule. 
and actually next year we're having the Connacht Flag Hall again. Wow. So we're a very busy branch. Yes, yes. And, and of course you play a very important part of the, uh, the festival as well for the cultural aspect of it. We help out with Chimsa every year. Our members are very involved. We have a session for the children on the Sunday at one o'clock. Uh, we have a week of classes beforehand called Skull Call Shimsa, where we have instrumental and singing classes in the week before Shimsa. And on the Monday night of Shimsa, this year we'll be having our third annual pageant, where we celebrate some aspect of life around Swinford. The first year we did 1916, last year we did historical episodes, and this year we're doing a reeling back the years uh, just going back to 1918 and doing some of the more important things that happened around Swinford in the last hundred years. And it's a combination of music and song and dance and drama, poetry. Actually, it's a great night. Yeah. And how is traditional music doing generally in this area? Traditional music is doing really well in this area. We have some fantastic young musicians and we have some great older senior musicians all working together, all doing very well. Now this is a very special year for you for Cothus because you celebrate your 60th anniversary. This is our 60th anniversary. The branch was founded in 1958 and believe it or not we have three of our founder members in great shape and we hope they'll be here for our celebrations and join us at the end of October. Breeze, you've had a long association here with Sheep Shishroy here. Well, I have, of course, because it must be about 30 years, and I am the secretary coordinator for the whole festival. Uh, it's been a great pleasure for me to run this festival because it's a real good Irish festival that depicts the traditions of this town and Ireland, and we're very proud of it. And, of course, the name, Shimsa Shroja, means fun on the streets. So you can imagine, with all our country bands, Cayley bands, uh, local traditional musicians, uh, bluegrass bands, historical walks and talks and every type of entertainment you can possibly think of with street stalls as well on the streets so there's a real carnival effect at Shimsa Shroja and we're very proud of it you know to have kept it going for 34 years. So what can people look forward to, to this year's festival, which takes place over the August Bank Holiday weekend, isn't yes, it? Yes, over the August Bank Holiday. Well, they can look forward, first of all, I said, to um, the country bands playing on the street at night, open air, under the harvest moon. How romantic can you get? <laughs> and uh, then we have traditional uh, Crossroads Cayleys. Uh, we have wonderful pageants. Uh, lovely historical walks and talks and of course we have wonderful workshops for the week before Shimsa Shroja. We have an American um, of Irish diaspora coming back to teach the Illan pipes to us here in Swinford. His grandfather came from this area so we're very proud of that. His name is Jerry O'Sullivan and he will be doing Illan pipes classes for children and for master classes as well. And who's officially opening the festival for you? Opening the festival this year is uh, Michael Brabazon, who's um, a grandson of the one of the original Brabazons who set up this town going back in, in the 1700s. Now, two of the most popular days of the festival, of course, are... Well, the two big street mm. days on the Swin uh, in Swinford will be on the 7th and 8th. Uh, the 7th is the Tuesday, and we call that... Um, which is our heritage day and it's also our enterprise day it's a day where we have a lot of craft all the stalls in the street crafts people demonstrating a blacksmith uh, wood turners uh, different crafts people on the street showing their wares that day and um, that day we have a crossroads Cayley with Matt Cunningham the famous Matt Cunningham from County Galway uh, who is one of Ireland's greatest uh, Cayley uh, musicians and of course who has stood the test of time at, K at Crossroads Cayleys. And uh, the other big day then of course the Harvest Day and the, the great focus on the Emory. Well on we have the, the Old Diaspora. Harvest Fair Day yeah. which is on the Wednesday, Wednesday the 8th and on that day we have the stalls of course as well but then we have a group called, we'll have lovely entertainers that we're busking for young children that day and, and there the standard in that is very high and then in the afternoon we have the international um, street entertainers. We'll have a bluegrass band, we'll have about 13 or 14 traditional group led by Jimmy Murphy of Milik, who's one of 
Ireland's and East Mayo's best traditional musicians. Well, good evening, friends, and all of you who have come out so enthusiastically to celebrate what is, what was, and hopefully what will be in the future. A great writer uh, has written, uh, she's an American writer and poet, uh, has said, there is no power for change greater than a community discovering what they care about. I know this community here in Swenford did discover what they cared about back in 1984. I'm sure long before that, from our ancestors and our people who really tried to preserve what, the, what was important. But following that statement, it, it proves that the people of Swinford had a great sense of place and pride in their place. Well, can we wish everybody the very best of luck involved with Seems to Show You. It's always a great festival, and I'd recommend it. If you're anywhere near the area, do come along. You'll have a fantastic time. Okay, time for us to take a break. When we come back, we're off to Clear Morris. What's happening here in Claremores? Good morning, Henry. We're so excited to be celebrating Mayo Day here at Claremores Park Run. The park run was set up just over a year ago. It's a community run event, and it's a free it's a free running event, a free running and walking event, I should say. And it incorporates Clear Lake and the Land of the Giants. It's a beautiful one kilometre route. And we have lots of volunteers um, coming down here every Saturday to help out. And we have around between 70 and 100 people taking part every Saturday. So that's between 70 and 100 getting out of their beds to come down, get a bit of fresh air, take in the beautiful scenery around the lake and get their bit of exercise in all before they've had their breakfast. And you have Sonia Sullivan there. Linda. We're so excited to have Sonia here today. She's a national icon, so she is. And she has taken time out of her busy schedule to come here and be part of this amazing event today. We're so delighted to have her here. And what a special day to have her here on Mayo Day. We're thrilled. Max, what's the plan now for this morning? Well, we're nearly ready to go. There's a little bit of entertainment uh, taking place up at the gazebo there before we hit off. At half past nine, we're going to blow the whistle, get everybody going, and they're going to take off and enjoy five kilometres of beautiful scenery around the lake. There's plenty of marshals out there. We've a little bit of music and a few surprises on the route. And of course, we've got um, an Irish breakfast here on the finish line for them to top it off. What better than a uh, Mayo Day breakfast at the end of your park run? And Patsy, our good town ladies are going to be so happy. Patsy, so happy. And on that note, just... You're very welcome back to uh, County Mayo, Sonia. You seem to be a great favourite here with the audience. Yes, well, this will be my third park run in Mayo, so really looking forward to this this morning. And, uh, yeah, and I've been up here a few times on the, the May Bank holiday weekend, which is the Mayo Day. So uh, really you know, looking forward to getting out to the race course this afternoon as well and then over to Castle Bar tomorrow for the Women's Mini Marathon. You've already had a little trial run there this morning here, a uh, warm-up. I did. It's beautiful. And I went for a complete lap last night on my bike. It was absolutely beautiful in here. So, uh, you yeah, know, it's a really perfect setting for a park run and great to see so many people out here this morning as well. Can I just ask you, what do you think of this Mayo uh, Day concept? Yeah, no, it's it's really interesting. It's um, I suppose it, it fits, doesn't it? May Day and uh, May, <laughs> you know, you, you've really jumped onto something there, which is, it's great and it's growing every year, you know, and I w was told the opening last night out in Ballon Robe for the, the arts section is really, really good and uh, a lot of people were surprised. So really looking forward to get out there and see what's, what's made in Mayo. So you're, you're leading off the parade, uh, or the, sorry, the run this morning. I won't be leading it for long now. <laughs> <laughs> I just take it easy out there now. And uh, it's just a great way to get out on a Saturday morning and, you know, get a few sips and, and um, you know, have company doing it. And uh, weather like today, a beautiful day. Does that make a difference here on the run uh, like this? Well, this is ideal weather for running, really. You know, it's yeah. not too hot, it's not too cold, and uh, you warm up quickly. So, uh, you know, it, it, as long as it's not raining, then it's perfect. <laughs> Great. Well, enjoy the run. Okay, thanks very much, okay. and happy Mayo Day. <laughs>
involved in this uh, development here, this wonderful park in Clear Morris? Yes, um, I'm part of a, a development group that, uh, that's in existence for about 26 years, I think. And the land that we're standing on here was uh, donated freely and six other landowners come in subsequently um, after that. And we have developed um, a 26 acre park, which includes the lake here. And uh, today we have roughly 4,000 people per week uh, visiting the estate. And uh, it's um, a fantastic place for wildlife, to study wildlife. We have over 20,000 native trees planted on it. And uh, this is the big thing in, that we're trying to promote, the big thing in Ireland at the moment, trying to promote this green energy get people away from the noise and bustle of cars and buses and all of that and get them out into parks like this and it is obviously working and it's healthy it's good it's good for for virtually every aspect of health and um, as I said we have 4,000 people a week coming in here and uh, the park is used for a lot of uh, fundraising events and you know this morning like now we have the annual uh, park run which is a, a big thing in the county and um, as you can see yourself behind me uh, this is an initiative by Mio Parks runs and they do this every Saturday morning and uh, it gets people out and they feel good they feel healthy and uh, that's what we're trying to promote sure. and of course Mio Day today uh, a, a very special event then a park run today yes it's a special um, Mio Day is a, a big thing that's catching on now at the moment and uh, we will try and keep that going as best we can for the foreseeable future and uh, I always say, as long as when you have your health, you have everything, and this is the this is a perfect location for um, an event like that. And this is your first Mayo Day. It is my first Mayo Day. It's not the first time I've heard of it, but I'm so excited to take part in it. I'm from Ballinrobe, delighted that the event is in Ballinrobe Racecourse, and delighted that so many people turned out today to help us celebrate Mayo Day, all that's good about Mayo, and the spirit of Mayo people. So. How, how important is it, do you think, this Mayo Day for the county? I think it's very important insofar as we are um, celebrating who we are and what we do and what we do well. And, uh, you know, Mayo people are very resilient and they're very resourceful. And uh, as was said yesterday at the launch event, uh, we, may, we may not always win, but we're never beaten. And that's what today is about. Yeah. And there's a lot of events taking place, not just here, but all around the world as well. That's right. We have events taking place in the UK. We have events taking place in the US. Um, we have uh, a lot of video links and satellite links. And uh, we even had a message from Dr. Nora Padden, who's hoping to take the Mayo flag into space one day very soon. <laughs> so yes, we have global reach. Mayo yeah. people are everywhere. It must be the envy of other counties around the country when they see what's happening here in Mayo every year. Absolutely. People look and say, God, what a wonderful idea. And it is. To celebrate who you are and where you're from and where your roots are is a very powerful thing. And we are. We're the envy of a lot of other counties. Next question is, are you going to do the run itself? I'm all togged out and ready to go. It's a fantastic facility here in Clare Morris, so yeah, delighted to be able to do it. Thank God we can do it. Yeah. Well, enjoy it. Thank you very much, and thank you to everybody watching. Uh, there's a big volunteer aspect to today's uh, Mayo Day run in Clare Morris. Yes, there sure is. Um, Park One is completely volunteer-led. So from doing free course checks to all the setup here for refreshments, to marshalling the course and operating the equipment, the stopwatches, the scanners, etc. It's completely run by a team of volunteers. We've had um, in the, just over a year here now in Park One Clare Morris since we launched, and we've had over 100 people volunteer to date. And we've a, a really great core team um, who never let us down here on a weekly basis. And of course, being Mayo Day, it's a very special event today. It's a very special day, Mayo Day. Um, it's a great celebration of everything Mayo, our culture, our heritage. And um, it's a great day just to get together and, and get active together. Great. And did you manage to do the run yourself? I, I, did, I did it on Tuesday night here when we had a little bit of a, a group to get together. But um, I didn't do it this morning myself. No, I was too busy with other duties. 
and happy with the turnout? You're delighted with the turnout. Um, I, I don't know what the numbers are, but I'd say we're close to our record numbers. Um, obviously, everyone delighted to have Sonia here. To Congratulations, Brendan. You, uh, you were first across the line in the run today. That's right. I'm delighted. Delighted. My first park run today and I won, so I'm very happy. How long did it take you to do the 5k? Uh, 1841. And is that good for you? Yeah, it's good. It's in around six minute uh, miles. For the one, yeah. And do you do a lot of running? Yeah, I do a lot of running now in Italy uh, for the past seven years. I'm on eight years now in August, I started running, yeah. And can I ask you, what do you think of this particular run here at the park in Kilmars? Yeah, it's great. It's a nice run. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's out from roads and traffic and it's, 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 it's safe, like, you know. Yeah. It's well organised, you know. And what did you enjoy mostly about it? Uh, well, the winning, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And do you get anything for winning it? No, no, you don't get anything for winning park runs, no. Yeah. So you just get the satisfaction just get of... the satisfaction of winning, yeah. Lovely, OK. Oh. It's, a, it's a wonderful location, isn't it? Oh, it is lovely. The lake yeah. and all, it's a beautiful, beautiful place, like, beautiful place. And, and the fact it was me all day, it was that very special then to win it on that day? It is, yeah, very special, especially. Especially when it was the first one as well. Very special to win it today, yeah. And uh, you've just completed the uh, park run here for me, oh dear. I have, and it nearly killed me, Henry. Um, it's the second time ever doing a park run, but it's great to do it on Mayo Day here in, in Clear, at Clear Lake. Yeah. And what's special about a park run? Um, I suppose there's so many of them all over the country, and internationally there's a lot of them as well, and they happen every Saturday morning at half nine, so all you have to do is register with Park Run Ireland, you get your little tag, you can arrive at any of the Park Run locations and do your run, and you, it, it, it tracks your time, and each week you come back you can try and improve your time, but for me, I belong road ahead of me, I'm only just beginning, so. Okay. And a uh, tourism officer from Mayo County Council, uh, is this some area you could see development for tourism in these park runs in, in the county? Absolutely, there's huge opportunity, like this weekend the mini marathon is happening here in, in, in the county and there's a lot of people staying in a lot of hotels you know even here in Clamaris and they're here for the weekend to do the the run with Sonia Sullivan but also when they're here they're taking it in the park runs as well so it's great they're making a weekend out of it and the more of these that we can have all over the county and indeed all over the country it's win-win for everybody. Mm -hmm.